Hello everyone, now we are going to solve the next question of GATE 2016. A single degree of freedom spring mass system is subjected to a harmonic force of constant amplitude for an excitation frequency of under root of 3k by m. The ratio of amplitude of steady state response to the static deflection of the spring is we have to calculate the ratio of amplitude of steady state response to the static deflection of the spring. See, static deflection of the spring means what? If I say F0 is responsible, this force is responsible for the deflection in the spring. So, this F, you can represent it F. Okay, so you can see this F is equal to K delta. Okay, this is the static deflection of the spring. So, delta is basically equal to F upon K. Yes or no? Sometimes uh, you can represent it as K or sometimes it can be represented by S. Okay, both the things are same because it is representing the stiffness of the spring. We know that amplitude formula is F naught or you can say F because here F is given in the equations. So, F upon K upon under root of 1 minus omega by omega n a whole square bracket whole square plus 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square this is the formula of amplitude okay so what is asking in the question it is asking that find out the ratio of f naught upon static deflection that is delta a upon delta or you can write it as a upon f f upon k Okay, this is the ratio it is asking in the question. So that means this is A upon delta because it is representing the delta. Okay, so if delta is equal to 1 upon under root of, see here, in the question, excitation frequency is given. Excitation frequency is basically omega and omega is given omega is equal to under root of 3k by m but if you find out the natural frequency of the system it would comes out to be under root of k by m so that means you if you find out the ratio of omega by omega n that would comes out to be under root of 3 okay so that means omega upon omega n that is equal to under root of 3 you just have to put here 1 minus under root of 3 whole square means 3 okay whole square again plus zeta is not given so you can neglect it okay so it would be zero because zeta is not given in the question and that would be one upon under root of three or two square that means one upon two so you will get 0 0.5 this would be the answer 0 0.5 would be the ratio is the 0 0.5 here so i hope you will not get any doubt here in this question everything must be clear Okay, 0.5 would be the correct answer. Thank you.